Virgos. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Virgos. Check this out. So as I was just meditating on your reading, I got this. Okay, I got this, Virgo. You're in a lonely place right now. You're not alone, but you feel alone. Um, may I add to that right now as well? You're never alone. We are never alone. Tr trust me. If I, if I can give you my third eye and my ears, you would hear and see all of us, okay? You're never alone, ever, ever. Don't be scared by that, okay? Sound like spirits and, and God and galactic beings and angels, sometimes galactic beings, right? But we're not sitting here just watching you. Like, we are in a good way, okay? Okay? Alrighty then. Um, and what I mean too is by, by you not being alone, you're, you, I mean, you're working, some of you, not everyone, but I get it. But there's people around you, but you feel alone. Communicate. I have, a, I have a card that I like to use where it says, we have a failure to communicate. And that's all, just talk, right? And, and, and I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but I think some of us have this, this thing we wanna do where we win the conversation or something. That's a little insecurity. It's okay. Talk to people. Talk to people. You're watching tarot for a reason, by the way. Yes, you are, Virgo. Yes, you are. And God, you want love. You want love so bad. And not just love. You want some You want some loving. You want some sex, right? You really want some. You like sex. You like some sex. And someone's, someone's masturbating a lot. And that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Do it. You do you, Virgo. All right? Don't waste that uh, orgasm. All right? Use it to manifest. True story. And I wrote that down, but now I'm just kind of, I'm freestyling. Um... Why are they feeling alone? That's what I want to know first. Again, we're never alone. You're just feeling lonely. Because you want this thing, right? This expectation, not only of love, uh, but of your life as well. And we all have that. Great. Nothing wrong with that. But what is it that you're doing to achieve it? And I do this, but uh, you are going to achieve it, by the way. But what do I do? What do I do? First, let's do this. Step one, take the expectation, okay? Put it to the side. Focus on the step that you want to take. I'm hearing something about making a video. Just start making the videos. My own personal thing and also what we're saying to say to use this example is, like I used to think I needed a background. I'm an actor. I've been, I've been an actor for years. So there's, there's certain uh, backgrounds to use to make it look better. And, and I got to a point, I said, no, no, no. I'm wasting too much time worrying about what the background is or what I look like or anything. And don't mind me with my eyes closed. I just hear a little better at that moment, y'all. Um, instead of just doing it, just making the video. You know, Nike got it right sometimes. You just got to do it. You're going to know when the right time is as well. Virgo. And there's nothing wrong with the expectations of it. Now, what, what's kind of get us to this energy is there's this overall expectation of the success of it. And that can be fearful. Mm -mm. Break it down to one step, baby steps, baby steps. And you're afraid to talk about it with people. Why? What if they make fun of my dream? Well, then they're not your friends. Don't talk to them about it. And unfortunately, people do that. Did you date? Ooh, who's this person someone dated? And you felt like you manifested them, but, but it was, oof. let's talk about the date, the person you dated and they, oof. and they didn't just make fun of your, 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 your goals or does it, they that's why you're afraid to talk about it. You think everyone's going to be like that. Part of Patrick, the Patrick in me, this guy wants to be like mother to that person. But again, my guides, my angels, everyone with me is like, no, no, we don't judge, man. We don't judge. Everyone has their place and their part in the world. Don't be afraid to speak your dreams. Speak them out loud. Speak, speak them to the world. We know what they are. Say them to us. Don't be afraid. It's going to be kind of rough what I'm going to say. It wasn't wrong with what he or she said. They're not right at all. Not even a little bit. But know those who are afraid of their own dreams will either A, help someone with their with other, others' dreams and not their own, or make fun of and try to crush other people's dreams because they're afraid to do it themselves. Those people 
need to get out of the way of those of us that are doing it. Don't be a dream stealer. That's what this person was. They were a dream stealer. Don't let them steal it from you. That's your dream. We gave it to you for a reason. You've had it for a reason your whole life. And you know it, Virgo. You're an earth energy. You are grounded. You are sound. And we want sex. <laughs> good, good. Let's go into something. What, you, what are we talking about? Do we want to, what do you think? Goals for them or new love? What do we think? I know. Sorry, what I'm hearing right now is, oh no, is that for me to say? No, for the, okay, sorry. You're not here for this, Virgo. You're not here to be sad and lonely. And and, and not like the uh, Van Halen song with David Lee Roth. You're here to be vibrant, beautiful and amazing, fun, sexual, energetic, and achieving your goals and dreams. This is why we come here to do this. It's one of the only reasons, not the only one, but what? Also ascension, yes. Okay, now I'm hearing, what about this new love? Okay, what about this new love coming in? Not that it's new. You're changing you. You're new, Virgo. And by changing that, of course, like everyone says, attracts. Make a decision, Virgo, on whether you really want to be with someone or just sex with someone. Like friends with benefits. The honesty is the best policy. No one's really against that if you're honest. But of course what happens is uh, everyone kind of gets emotionally, right? Which is great. That's why I'm smiling. Okay, now you want to know about new love coming in. Good, good, good. Let's go to cards here. I know we don't need them, but what? Do them? Okay. Okay. I'm going to shuffle them here. And these are my homemade cards, y'all. These are just little... They just, I don't know, psychic abilities. When you start working with it, you start training. Okay, that's what I call it. I call it remembering and training. Like, I, this was never in my wheelhouse whatsoever. I'm an athlete, you know, I was an actor. Actors are channelers. It's an energy. That's why I, I that's my language. It's my lingo. John Edwards has his own lingo. Uh, every other psychic, you, you, you know, like I was talking with my guides earlier about, like, I don't study these books for these decks. I just won't. Okay? Uh, I did not go through all this ascension work unexpectedly, spiritually awakened, to sit here and read a bunch of people's books. <laughs> right? I got to cook like I feel, and I'm feeling sassy. No, I'm just kidding. But but I have my own style of training. You know? I'm much more of a doer. Uh, but I am guided to read certain things at a certain time, just like you will be, Virgo. Okay? So let me shovel this one more time. Boom! First one up. Martini. Shaken. Not stirred. Box, a square. You're not in a box. Blue is a very spiritual. Blue is enlightenment. Blue is, is your throat chakra. Speak it, speak it, speak it. Sean Connery. Okay. Sean Connery was not the first choice for James Bond at all. He was not even in the list of people they wanted. At all. He was an after fact. Okay? And this is what I always say. As an actor, as a human being. Just because you're not the first choice. Does not mean you're not the best choice. Right? They wanted Cary Grant. Who didn't want... He was a little older. And he didn't want to do that role. But also he didn't want to do an English accent. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Steve Reeves. Who's an old time bodybuilder. Uh, and, and Hercules. From back in the 40s. They wanted him, and he turned it down because of the English accent. Remember, no one knew this character James Bond yet. The books have been out, but the movies weren't as, right? They went through a list of people, and eventually they auditioned this, this no-name named Sean Connery. Need I say more? You're the best choice, Virgo, for you. You are the best choice, and this new person is going to see that. Not only see it, they're going to know it. All right? Now, I get this energy that you're kind of, yeah, you're still in that cool. Like, 
Someone else completes me. If that's how you believe and you want, you go right ahead. It's not my style, right? I complete me, right? So the more I complete myself, the more I'll have another complete person. Why? If someone's only 50% and the other person's only 50%, together you're 100%, which is, hey, awesome. I'm not saying it's bad. Personally, for me, I'd rather have 100% of me and 100% of someone else. That's 200 fucking percent, right? And, and I'm getting like, you know, I'm feeling it, Virgo. You're, you're feeling like, you're not wrong, but yeah, that other person, cool. There's nothing wrong with that at all, okay? At all. You know what's funny is I, you would think I would get like this Sean Connery or this James Bond energy, and that's not what I'm getting. You're also going to do it a little differently. And I, I'm not seeing how or hearing how, but what I'm hearing is shaken, not stirred. And that's a Vesper Martini, okay? which has gin, vodka, and I forget the other ingredients. But any bartender or any English person knows you don't shake gin, you're supposed to stir it, even though I prefer shaking it. So did James Bond. Meaning you're going to do it a little differently here. You're going to shake it up a bit. How is Virgo going to shake it up? She's not ready for this though, right? Or he, he, she is not ready for this. Now you want to be a 100% person, right? I'm not saying you're not a 100% person. Just know that, yeah, the two you have two complete people. You know what I'm saying? And things, what does that even mean to be complete? Because there's always more ascension. There's always more love. There's always more of the journey, right? But together, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be so good, Virgo. So, so good, all right? Square to me is also... On this, we had a square is also a great foundation, right? Okay, pull the next one. Samsonite, I was way off. No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay. Um, another square, two squares, all right? Um, some of you Virgos, yes, you've been kept in the box, I want to say by other people, meaning they kept these secrets. They wanted to keep keep you in control, Right? But but that's not the case I'm getting because you are like you're shaking you're busting out of that you you you're, you're too strong for it now. Um, also Samsonite strength right Samson okay that uh, that old person not this new person the other person that person right the Delilah and nothing against Delilah but I mean again she was forced to do it by the king if you all know the, the Bible which I've never read but I don't know why I know these things. Um, but Samsonite is also a a briefcase luggage things like that right. It has locks on it, okay? You lock it up. You don't, you're not closing down. Like you, That's the energy we've already been doing. It's, it's strength, right? Like Samson, strong. And again, with, remember, it wasn't his hair, right, that gave him strength. It was his mental fortitude. But how can you tell someone when angels come down and say, don't let anyone shave his mental fortitude or cut his his mental, what are the words like that in Arabic and Hebrew? I don't know. But the best thing when you have to hear these things sometimes like this and you have to communicate it, hair, the head, the mind, right? The antennas, meaning our connection with the divine. No one's cutting yours, Virgo, at all. Also for this card for me, is, uh, it's from Dumb and Dumber. And when Jim Carrey, when they said, well, maybe the, they're like, what's the name? He's like Swanson, Slappy. Uh, maybe it's on the briefcase. And he looks at it and he's like, Samson Knight. I was way off, but he wasn't. He said the name right the first time. Follow that intuition. Follow that instinct. Follow that gut feeling. That's your psychic ability. 99.9% .9 of the time, your first instinct is the right instinct. Right? Your first guess is the right guess. It wasn't a guess. You knew it. You knew it. You knew it. Let me pull one more here. Don't worry. I've got you. You've got me. Who's got you? Ooh, and star. You two are going to be the star. You two, this is from Superman, the movie, when Superman flies up and catches Lois Lane. He's like, don't worry, man. I've got you. She's like, you've got me. Who's got you? Um, 
you two are going to, you two have got each other. That's how great this relationship is going to be. You're going to trust each other. You've got each other's backs. That's huge. That's huge. You're not going to fall head over heels. You, you are going to fall head over heels inside. But on the outside, you're going to be very, I'm getting the word cautious, but it's not cautious because you've been hurt in the past by that. So, and you're not going to like hold back on purpose to try to like manipulate. You're just, you're being wise about it. Thank you. You're being wise about it. And so are they. But it's really great dates, communication. <sighs> Not really taking it slow, but what? Not rushing it either. The intimacy might come a little quicker. And I, maybe come quick. I don't know why. They, but I meant maybe it'll happen faster than maybe you normally do or not. For some of you, it, it will be long term. Yeah. I don't know about marriage. I'm not getting that right now. I know long-term can be marriage, but that's not what I'm saying with them. You're going to be faithful to each other, yeah. Just know right now, you'll know. And it's going to be really amazing. I think... So. Hearing that what... I was going to think finances, so I'm hearing finances with them. They just needed to know that. Some of you lost hope in love. And you're not alone, but you feel lonely because it's you don't have that connection with, with, I'm calling it sex, right? And it's not sex, but like this special someone. And you get like a relationship or, or but it's not that at all. You, you know, man, you know how great you're doing? You're doing so much better than you think, Virgo. And your future looks bright and amazing. You're going to have moments of doubt, self-doubt. Some people say don't gaslight yourself. I don't think that's what that is at all. It's just insecurity. Um, this old person, this other person, they gaslit you. If you uh, Google that if you don't know what it is. This person, this new person doesn't want to do that at all. They just really want to be open and honest. They too have been hurt in the past. Pretty bad by somebody. Which brought kind of the two of you together with this energy. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of trauma bonding. Not kind of in a cathartic sense, right? That'll be kind of relieving, but not like anger. You're not going to be like, yeah, I hate the world. Nothing like that. But it will be, it, 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 we don't have a failure to communicate. You two are going to be communicating these things. And it opens up to all this new love and amazingness. Wow, what an interesting journey and story that is. And it's not the trauma bonding like being, being excuse my language, bitches or assholes with one another and hating the world or anything. Or purposely doing that to suck someone in. Really, you've all been hurt, the two, the two of you. And you're going to be expressing these things. You have boundaries too, which is great. And not like, like you just know, like, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. It, this, I'm not into this. And you're going to, the communication is going to be amazing, Virgo. Just amazing. You know, I'm going to leave it right there, Virgo. All right? As always, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, thank you, thank you.